Welcome to the fourth video of our F100 project. In this video, we're going to be going through the electrical, making sure there's no shorts, any kind of dangerous wires exposed in anywhere in the truck, front to rear, front to rear. And then um, after that, we're going to be going and emptying the fuel tank. That fuel tank, I don't know how long that gas has been in there, but we're going to be emptying it out and putting in new gas. Along with that, we have a uh, electric fuel pump that we're going to be installing and bypassing the stock mechanical fuel pump. Um, after that, we're going to install the exhaust manifold, which or the exhaust manifold gaskets, which um, is a whole debacle in itself. So stay tuned and watch us get this truck started. Double checking and redoing a lot of the wiring in an old truck like this is really important. Even if it looks new, you always want to go through it because you don't know if the person that had it before, did everything correctly, and it's always better to double check before you actually start running the engine and you're away from home and you forget a fire extinguisher, something like that happens, it's always best. The horn doesn't have that much to do with the car actually starting, but you never know, it might save the car's life one day, so I'd rather have it hooked up before I even hit the road. So I'm just doing some simple wiring here, just for the horn. The horn works, which is very exciting except that the wiring for it is too short for the placement, the, well, relocation that I'm doing. So I'm just extending the wires and then looming it. This truck is not that complicated when it comes to wiring, but there are some sketchy wires here. So you can always tell the ones that I've gone through because they will have a loom on them. So like, for example, this one that one, all these. So now I just have to go through these wires, which most of them are actually fine, but I have to unwrap them. Double check, doesn't hurt to double check, and then just loom it so that I know that they're good and I don't know, I come back in a week and I don't remember, that's why I loom it. This is my yoga. It's very stressful yoga. So when we just installed an Edelbrock electric fuel pump, I'm going to be testing it out, seeing um, how it works, putting power to it, and then once we put power to it, I'll be able to drain the gas that's already in the tank. I'm really hoping it's not that rusty, but if it is, then I have to drop the tank and get a new one. Or clean it. Probably just get a new one. Might as well. Now that I have the fuel line off, I just have to connect power probe to these two, and it should come out, and I have... A small bottle that should work, and if there's any gas, if there's any more gas than what's in that bottle in this tank, screwed. So, I guess it'll just evaporate, because it'll just go everywhere. Altogether, I'm seeing if the fuel is able to get up all the way to the front of the car to the carburetor. If it's able to get there, and the sending unit is good, then that's great, and the gas, I'm hoping, is not in too bad a condition. I don't know if the guys that own this put any kind of, um additive into it to keep it from rusting, I don't know anything. So I'm really, I can, you can tell in my voice I'm nervous to see what this is going to be because this is like the difference between a whole lot of money and being able to start the car for not a whole lot of money. So here we go. It is working! This fuel pump that I put on is working. The only thing is I think I have too small of a bottle and way too much gas. So I'm gonna fill this up and then go find something else to put it in. But I'm excited that it's working. It's a good, it's a good sign and I don't see any little fragments in here, which is really good. I'll take a separate video just showing you up close just to show you. Yummy! Close-up video here. I wonder if I can show you the bottom. Kind of. But I'm surprised. Oh, it's leaking. That this is actually pretty clean. And it came out right away. So it's time to find another bottle. Get okay. I got the proper thing to do this with. Very exciting. Nice. Very professional. Professional. 
hope we love. I hope we didn't fill this tank and then park the car for a few years, because that's what it's seeming like. Well, here I am with another little tiny gas can. Didn't even know I had this one, but that's how hard I'm looking around. <laughs> Pretty much using anything in the garage. Anything in the garage for gas. Jesus. Okay, so I officially have all the gas out of the tank. I'm going to start to hook up that uh, the electric fuel pump, wire it up to the... all the way into the engine bay, back through the firewall, and into the cab so that I can um, have it to either a switch or ignition. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It kind of just depends on old wire quality. What it, I, I don't... I'm not very uh, electrical savvy, I would say, so I'm going to see whatever is the easiest, at least for now. So the last thing I'm doing today on this truck is the exhaust manifold, which I want to get done before I actually move on to the intake manifold. That's coming in the mail along with the four barrel carb, and from the looks of it, that job is not a fast or easy job. I mean, this intake, the, the push rods go through, you take the rockers off, you take a lot of shit off. Sorry a lot of stuff off to just lift it up and that is at least I think the stock is like 80 pounds so I'm gonna do this first I've been spraying these down with a uh, PB blaster for the last like three days so I'm hoping that they will come out easy Oh, no, 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 Well, it's dark out, and usually that's okay, but I'm hesitant on putting my hand in there, because there are so many spiders everywhere on this truck. So, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but these are all different kinds of bolts. Which, I mean, this and this make sense. What the fuck is that? Why do some of them have lock washers? <sighs> it's a little too dark and I can't really see in places that I need to see. And all the spiders come out at night, usually there's spiders making webs under this truck by 9 o'clock so I don't really want to stick my hand in all these little random places okay it's a new day uh, technically I guess just the next day um, I have called in reinforcements say hi What's up? for the torching and the strength that I do not have So we're also replacing the gasket over here, so I'm going to be taking this off while he is taking that off. These are off, so I just have to finish getting the bolts off of this side. The whole manifold will slide forward and I'll be able to get into there, replace that gasket while replacing this gasket. Dead. Since these bolts are working, I'm gonna be cleaning them up and reusing them. I mean, there's no reason to be spending money on bolts if I have the bolts here. They're just a little rusty. I'm gonna clean off just the threads. They're not gonna be anywhere near perfect, but it's worth it. Bolts are all clean. Time to slap the new gasket in. It's really not that big of a difference here. Probably could just run these. The clean bolts are actually going to help a lot, but putting on the exhaust manifold can sometimes be just as difficult as taking it off. 
Just because you have to put the bolts on um, loosely on each of them. Start with the top left, bottom right, all the other ones can fit in. Um, you're gonna have to wiggle it, you're gonna have to jiggle it, that's just how it is. And I hope that this can be kind of a speedy process because I do want to get this thing started while the sun is out. On the passenger side you can really see where our exhaust leak was coming from. That little donut is completely ripped. I'm gonna be replacing that and then I'll move on to this side manifold. It's morning time, we were able to get the exhaust manifold gasket all situated, it looks good up there. We're so close to starting this truck, we just have to um, wire up the fuel pump, which I'm wiring to a switch, which I'm not going to tell you where it is, but it's somewhere. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get the car started very soon, while it's still early in the morning, so we can wish all my neighbors a happy Sunday morning by how, I don't even know how loud this truck's going to be, so I'm excited! When we're able to get the car started, I'm going to be able to see if anything leaks, what, um, how everything sounds. I'm hoping we're going to be able to get it idling. The carb, I don't know the condition of the carb itself. I don't know if the carb itself leaks. So we're going to find that out today. This truck surprisingly has power steering, which I'm really excited about. But I know these Fords are kind of notorious for leaking from the power steering. Um, I learned that on Roadkill. <laughs> so we're going to see how that works out I really hope that I mean a small leak it would just blend in with all the cars here anyway because all my cars leak power steering so I'll survive with that so once we're done with the switch we're gonna put a uh, new gas in the tank and fire it up while he is wiring up that switch I'm gonna be looming all this with all my little spidey friends here helping me What we're about to do the first startup, very important, always, always on first startup, have one of these handy places, people! Places! Don't need that. Holy shit! <laughs> this thing started right up. I don't even have to warm it up or anything. Usually all this smoke is going to be from the new exhaust gaskets and cold dialers are all break, broken in. It's going to smoke like this. I just checked the new fuel pump. There's no leaks on that. Alright, it's off for now. We're gonna fill the power steering fluid. Um, we're gonna let these exhaust gaskets. <laughs> oh. And then uh, we'll start it right back up and let it run. It needs to run for a little bit, get out all the junk. be tall to be able to even reach the car or the accelerator cable. He's doing it from the inside but I would have to do it from the inside too because I, I can't reach it. This is what 
excitement and success and hard work sounds like. I think we might have a working temp gauge. Oil pressure. Um, alternator, I have to double check. And the fuel is not working. Unless I really just don't have any gas. Well, now that the truck is all warmed up, he's over here adjusting the RPMs for idle. Um, it was idling pretty high, but that's normal when it comes to a first startup and when the car is warming up. But once we figured that out, once it was uh, like fully warmed up and idling, then you can go in and adjust everything appropriately. If you can't already tell in my voice, I'm super excited that this thing is running. Um, just as important as getting it running is getting it stopping, which is going to be the whole next video that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I'm going to be going through the whole brake system of this truck, so stay tuned. And I really appreciate you guys all watching the videos and staying connected with me. Um, this truck has been a crazy learning experience and I'm excited to actually get it on the road so hopefully one of these upcoming videos will be test driving which I'm probably speaking way too soon but I'm just so excited that it runs. Thank you!